I'm squaring up. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my goddamn money. <laughs> That's bad. That's so Yo. bad. What's up, Wikimaniacs? Welcome to Reddit on Wiki, where we scour Reddit in search of some of the wildest stories the internet has to offer. My name is Josh Shell, and joined with me are my usual co-hosts, John Consignato and Sean Salvino. What's up, boys? Hello. Howdy. Searching John, for you, assholes. You do this a lot. I do. <laughs> Add it on the bingo list, baby. Like Sean's Patreon shout out every episode. Uh, you need a new bit. <laughs> No, oh, never. People love the bits. People that's, love the bits, man. That's what's do. endearing about us. We got bits, baby. That's true. What's my bit? You don't have none. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you're white. <laughs> <laughs> Loving Wakanda. Oh, yeah, yeah. True. You, you uh, called me racist kids. last uh, last Friday, Racist. Sean. Yeah. Calling you racist is kind of a bit. <laughs> it's my uh, bit. <laughs> it's your bit being called That's racist. why it's so hard to make memes about you, Josh. I'm like, I got nothing. <laughs> You're too, Throw a racist you're, one up there. For me. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. I don't want to no. do that. I don't want. I don't want to <laughs> cancel us. Yeah. The no context memes about Josh. Obviously, we're joking, and you can hear it in our voice. <laughs> yeah. But if you just post a meme with no like no sound, it's gonna look yeah. real bad. It is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't think John and Sean would put up with me if I was actually racist. So. Oh, we would jump you on site, baby. Good thing I'm very far yeah. away from you. <laughs> a whole country away. <laughs> All right. So let's hop into the stories for today. We are on a time crunch. Sean's got stuff to do. He's a busy, busy guy. Hello. And we want to get through all these stories. So on today's episode, we have a boyfriend who walks out on dinner. A husband goes to North Carolina for a weekend. Mm. A friend doesn't want to pay for someone else's wedding. And a sister steals her brother's inheritance. Oh, I thought Whoa. the boyfriend this time. Okay. On our Patreon exclusive, we have a homeowner with an offer too good to refuse and a husband tells his wife to get over herself. Mm. So if you want to hear those last two stories and get ad free episodes as well as bonus episodes, head on over to patreon.com slash cultivate podcast network. Link is always in the show notes. Check it out Whoa. and sign up today. Uh, is there anything you guys want to get into before we hop into the episode? Nope. We have no time. Let's go. Okay, well. I didn't say it, but it was on my mind. <laughs> uh, this one is from the Am I the Asshole subreddit. I found this one myself. So, Ooh. yeah, I did work this week, guys. Wow, you did it one, yourself. One whole story. Wow. <laughs> Am I the asshole for walking out of a restaurant on my girlfriend? Ooh, I mean, probably. Unless she did some fucked up shit to you. Yeah. Depends on the We've restaurant. She's like, McDonald's for our anniversary. <laughs> Low-key fire. <laughs> I mean, uh, what do you guys think? Asshole, no? Yes? I'm going to say no. Because there's a, as we've read time and time again, people can say some pretty fucked up shit. What about you, John? I'm going to go with Sean. Okay. For the sake yeah. of time. Be your own person, John. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I don't want to. All right. Girlfriend and I were having dinner at a restaurant when she got a text from her best friend who recently given birth. And she said, oh my God, she got a C-section. She works as a nurse, so she ex then explained to me the type of incision they had to make for that and how it'll leave a scar. I then, as a joke, said, quote, at least she'll still be tight down there, end quote. Why? <laughs> Why? I, I feel like me and John were wrong on this one. I mean, so far. <laughs> so far, it seems like we were very wrong. This guy is an idiot. I did yes. like your face change there, Sean, where it was nothing to, oh my God, <laughs> yeah. in an instant. Um, my girlfriend looked confused and then said that was a weird comment to make about her friend. Yes. I then said it's a very normal joke to make, and she disagreed. There was some back and forth, and I asked I too her to disagree. I too <laughs> That's disagree. That's not a normal thing to say. No. Maybe, <laughs> like, you could fuck? make, like, a dick joke about your friend. Don't make jokes about her friends that involve their private parts, I would. I would assume that's yeah. a line you don't cross. Yeah. Also, not that funny. No. Not that funny at all. Not worth the problems that will follow. I honestly don't know what the joke is. <laughs> like there is, is no joke. joke there. It's, it's a joke a, by somebody that knows very little about childbirth. 
though. Yeah, it's say. just an offside comment. That's what it is. There was some back and forth. I asked her to drop it, and she kept trying to talk about it. I said to her, quote, you're so insecure. And ah, then, this guy is ass. We were be sing- so be wrong single. off the bat. Well, you were right that shit can be said, but it was by the wrong yeah, person. Yeah, so. it was on the wrong <laughs> side. She then goes, does that make you feel good to call me that? So I then got really frustrated, got up and walked out of the restaurant and drove home. She called me several times. Uh, he then puts in brackets, I drove us both there. What a dickhead. Oh my God. What a baby. So yeah. he's the one that started the drama and then he's the one that fucking left and he yeah. was the ride. Exactly. But I was so frustrated and just wanted to get home. So I turned my phone off. She showed up at our apartment 30 minutes later and was really pissed. Called me oh, an no asshole shit. and overreacted oh, and, no. that, and said that she waited in the cold for 20 minutes for an Uber. Am I the asshole for walking out and leaving her there for being frustrated? Yes. You weren't even going to try and make like a, a closing <laughs> argument. You didn't even try to help yourself. No. Yes. You suck, dude. He's You're an absolute <laughs> asshole. <laughs> He's so in his own. He's like, yeah, there's no way I'm the asshole here. I just made a joke. It's like, no, you made an offside comment. And then you left her there at the restaurant alone. You probably, she probably ended up having to pay for dinner. You put her in danger by letting her go by herself. And you're going to call her, uh, what do you call that? You're going to call her all these names since insecure and all these other shit. My guy, you need some help. And you, you about to be single real soon. I'm surprised she even, you know. Went home. Went home. Was that when he goes I, I assume if she yeah. lives there, then she would go home. But uh, yeah, if you, if that, if. Oh. <gasps> Ringo hates shitty boyfriends. She always comes to those stories. Hey, yeah. Say hi, <laughs> Ringo. We hey. should have a, a shirt with Ringo's face and it's a I hate boys. <laughs> Top seller. That's she's a, a she's a strong independent woman. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Yeah. So you guys were off on that one, but uh, oh, big time. That's okay. It's only the first story. Hey, one for six. You know, we'll we'll get better. We won't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here comes our second story, cross-posted by Disney Can't Stop Me, slowly becoming a goat. Love that. Am I the asshole for missing an actual emergency because I turned off my phone to avoid my wife's unnecessary attempts during my tech-free weekend? Yes. Yeah. Unnecessary unnecessary contact attempts. Sorry, I missed that. Yeah. I I (laughs) think, you know, anything involving your family, I know you're trying to have like a tech-free weekend, but what, you know, what if there was a legit emergency? You know what I mean? I don't know if there is one. But what if, and then you, you know, were being an asshole and didn't answer and you weren't there to help your family. Yeah. I'm going to go with everybody sucks here so far. Okay. Let's Let's hop into it and see. My best friend, 31 male and I, 27 male, have a tradition of taking a yearly weekend trip together that's phone free. We've been doing this for a decade now. These weekend trips consist of us staying in a suite and exploring the city, not traversing the wilderness. So it's not like we're completely disconnected. Still, we like to keep one on hand for navigation and emergency purposes, and it would usually be if my friend's phone that we brought along. My friend and I left for our trip this year a few weeks ago. This was the first time I've gone on one of these trips since my wife and I moved in together, slash gotten married and engaged. However, we were dating the last two years worth of trips, 2021 and 2022, and she seemed fine during that time. I would just tell her I was going to be busy for the weekend and she would leave me alone. I understand that there are different expectations once you're married, but I didn't expect a 180 behavior. My wife all but demanded I take a phone with me in case she needed to get a hold of me, despite her having my friend's number. I let her know I had arrived, and immediately after, she was texting me and asking me how things were. Then again, asking me another question when I didn't respond to the first one. I eventually muted our text conversation because I was sick of the phone buzzing. She called me an hour later asking why I hadn't responded to her texts. I reiterated that I was supposed to be a no phone weekend and kept the call short despite her trying to drag out the conversation. She called me once more after this. When I answered and found out it wasn't an emergency, I simply turned off my phone. The calls then started coming in for my friend and he followed suit. So he turned his phone off as well. We then spent the rest of the weekend with our phones off until the drive back on Monday. I called my wife and informed her that we were about 30 minutes away from my place and she was furious. She said that there ended up being an emergency. Her sister got in a car accident that won't affect her long term, but it still resulted in broken bones and that I had just ignored her the entire time when she needed me. I told her that I was very sorry to hear about her sister, but it wasn't my fault. She'd essentially forced my hand into cutting off any means of communication. Communicate, Sean. We got no time. Let's go. (laughs) She went to stay with a friend before I arrived home that night and since then has come home, but she's still fuming. So am I the asshole? 
I'm gonna go with yes, just because I feel like you didn't really communicate it well enough um, what your traditions are with your friend. Because you kind of just went and assumed that, hey, I'm gonna be busy this weekend. And just because you got married, that that's automatically gonna translate. You didn't communicate it explicitly. Had Have you done that, I think your wife probably would have understood a little bit. And if she kept pestering, then I'm going to go with the everyone sucks here scenario. But because of those reasons, I'm just going to say you're strictly the asshole for not communicating directly. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of on the same page. Like this uh, reminds me of a fucking TikTok I just saw recently. And, you know, who knows how accurate it is. It's a fucking TikTok. <laughs> Uh, They're all accurate 100% of the time. Especially <laughs> us. Yeah. But uh, it was saying that like one of the big reasons for divorce in couples, like in married couples, is that, you know, whenever you get married, there isn't like the communication set that like things are different. Life is different. A lot of couples that get married act like they're just that nothing has changed since being married, but they don't uh, communicate that their needs and their expectations of what life should be like as a married couple. Right. Uh, so that reminded me of like, of this and like what John was saying, like he didn't go into detail of what this weekend meant. Uh, he was probably just like, yeah, it's a no phones thing, like a zero tech thing. You know, it is something chill we've been doing, but he, he sounds like, you know, who knows, but it sounds like he didn't go into detail. Like, Hey, like we're really trying to be like disconnected, really, really only hit me up for emergencies. Yep. It sounded like he was just like, hey, it's going to be a, known fo- a no phone thing. I'll bring this if you need me. Like, I feel like, you know, maybe there wasn't as much communication as there needed to be. But also, even if your wife was bugging you with those things, you could have just left it on mute, yeah. you know, like on do not disturb. And then like later on looked and saw it was like, oh, maybe while you're in the restroom or while you're taking a shit or <laughs> taking a shower. Or at the end of the day, just check it. Or yeah. like in bed, you know, just yeah. check it, read, make sure you didn't miss anything. And then if you did, then be like, oh shit, I got to fucking call her. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or, Something. Don't, don't fucking completely disconnect. You're married now. Like <laughs> yeah. you, you are one with somebody else. You, you can no longer be completely selfish and like completely, you know, disconnect. you have to be in right. communicate. There has to be on the same page about these type of things. You can't just turn off your phone and then ignore for two days. Yeah. I think. Or the time that he spent and the energy he spent getting mad and upset over, she, he could have just hopped on the phone and be like, hey, babe, just want to let you know. I just want to remind you this weekend is this kind of deal. Like we don't try to get disconnected, use our phone. If you're going to call me again, do you mind if it's just going to be emergencies only? He could have just took that time and left it at that. And if she yeah. hadn't kept going, then that's on her. So Yeah. Um. So shockingly, Reddit, not our subreddit, but Reddit said not the asshole. Oh. Uh, a I'm not com- super shocked at it. So there's 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 a bit of a twist here as well. But I'll, I'll get to like people were basically like, was there updates? Uh, not an update, but like a comment kind of thing oh, that man. really exposes something that we'll get into in a second. But basically, it's like a lot of the comments were saying like it's a tech free weekend, leave them alone. But I think the biggest point, which uh, Ann Bull on our subreddit commented saying, cutting off from communication doesn't mean cutting off from your wife. It's your phone you're cutting off from, not your wife. So you shouldn't be trying to escape from her, which is a good point. So I, I also agree with you guys that he's the asshole, not her. But then Disney Can't Stop Me comments an update from a deleted comment from OP. Wow. Ooh. They says, really did their homework. That's fantastic. A deleted did. comment? A deleted comment. Wow. So he confirmed in one of the comments that he and his friend, who he's on a trip with, used to hook up while drunk while in college. Huh. They shared a bed for five years together. And <laughs> this is and, pretty big to leave out. Yeah. Out yeah. Big. Yeah. So I think it's fair of the wife to be a little checking up. invested in this. Right. Um, okay. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. So Disney can't stop me goes on and says that there are other comments alluding to them hooking up as well. So I think he's cheating on his wife with his friend. And even if he's not, you gotta be like, dude, Obviously, your wife wants to keep track because you f- you have a history with this person. Yes. Like a sexual history. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, of course, she's going to be a little on edge. You're lucky she even let you go. <laughs> I mean, Honestly. I mean, fair enough. Yeah. Like, uh, you should you should have your phone ready 
to be blasted. There's, Absolutely. I don't know what your expectation was, but if your partner, if she went on a fucking trip where you're not allowed to text her with somebody she has sexual history with, oh, you gonna be are you texting. not going to be a little worried? Are you not going to be like, day. how's your day? You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This, that only solidifies <laughs> our, our judgment. That's what I was thinking. I was like, I, so there was the chance that you guys said not the asshole and I was going to pop that up, but you guys already agreed with asshole. So I was like, yeah. well, this doesn't really change your minds, but it's a little bit of a twist at the end. Wow, I'm surprised uh, Reddit are people saying that the, the wife is the asshole. I'm That's, shocked. That, that yeah, is I mean, shocking. shocking. You remember from our Monday episode, I don't know oh, if it's true. just the surviving infidelity subreddit itself. I mean, again, that's our first time on there, but a lot of comments are like, do what you need to do, man. And Ooh. I'm like, bro, what? Uh, he, nope. he essayed his, you yeah. know, soon to be ex-wife. Yeah. There's no, there's no do what you gotta do. I guess one of the rules in there is like, you can't shame people, but that's shame a on crime. you for doing that. Yeah. A I mean, crime. Yeah. You could shame crimes, I think should be allowed. Uh, you can shame them by going to jail. That's what's <laughs> sickening. Reddit is as as great and funny as Reddit can be. It could it's also be a fucking place. incel zone. It, it yes. could be yeah. Yeah. It could be Yeah, bad. there are pockets that are not great. So Yeah. Well, with that, we're gonna hit an ad break and come back and do a couple more stories. So stay tuned. Roses are red, violets are blue, and our friends at Manscaped have a gift for you. That's right, Manscaped is now selling beard products. The leaders in grooming are revolutionizing the men's hygiene game once again with the new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. It all starts with the Beard Hedger. This cordless trimmer has a rotary wheel with 20 hair cutting lengths, all with one guard. So no more messy drawers full of extra add-ons. With this kit, it's never been easier to sculpt your precious look at any length. So make sure you're looking extra lovely this Valentine's Day by using the Beard Hedger. And even better, save 20% off and free shipping by going to manscaped.com and using the code reddit now every winter around this time my beard is usually a dry mess but thanks to manscaped's beard shampoo conditioner and oil my beard is feeling silky smooth the beard hedger pro kit is the ultimate tool to get the perfect v-day look seven million men already trust manscaped with their balls it's time to trust the hair up top with this new kit take your grooming routine to the next level and it all starts with the beard hedger This electric beard hair trimmer is a premium beard sculpting machine. Along with having only one guard, leaving little mess, it's also waterproof. You can shave in the shower to avoid all the hair in the sink or bathroom floor. Plus, the titanium coated T-blade is tough on hair but smooth on your face, leading to a single stroke efficiency. Manscaped and Valentine's Day are the perfect pair, and the new Beard Hedger Pro Kit doesn't end there. They have created four dermatologist treated formulations for your post-trim hygiene. First, there is the beard shampoo and conditioner. You need to remember all your hair is different. Beard hair is more coarse and easier to damage than hair on your head. That's why the kit has made shampoo and conditioner specifically designed to moisturize, reduce ingrown hairs, replace natural oils, and promote beard health. Next in the kit, the Manscaped Beard Oil. No one wants a guy whose beard hair is brittle and dry. The oil relieves dryness both on the beard and skin beneath while adding a little shimmer and shine, making him look extra fine. Cap off the kit with the Beard Balm, a pomade that shapes, styles, moisturizes, and tames for a sculpted look. The Beard Hedger Pro Kit also comes with three free gifts, a beard brush, a comb, and scissors to ensure you have all the tools for a perfect beard. From first impressions to last, you're going to love it, and everyone who sees your improved facial hair game will love it too. No one likes a weird beard, so say goodbye to all your stubble trouble and tame your mane this Valentine's. So don't forget, you get 20% off and free shipping with the code reddit at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code reddit at manscaped.com. Spice up V-Day this year with Manscaped's Beard Hedger, one stroke, one guard, 20 lengths. Thanks, Manscaped. And we're back. What's up, boys? How are we doing for time? We're good. I think we're good. Sean's on we a time this. crunch. We're burning. Sorry, doing less punts today. Sorry, Wikimaniacs. We're on a we're on a schedule. If this ends up being my worst episode, please know it's not my fault. <laughs> I'll take <laughs> yeah. full blame. I take a blame for a lot of stuff. I'll take it. So, third story here. Uh, Cross posted by traditional lower score roll lower score two o five on our subreddit. Am I the asshole for not wanting to help pay for my friend's wedding? No, that's yep. your friend's wedding. Yeah, friend's wedding. You better pay for your own goddamn <laughs> no, wedding, what the fuck? friend. In I mean, this economy, you know how expensive eggs are, motherfucker? You expect me to pay? I I, ex- I expect wedding? you to give a gift. Okay. You know, I don't expect you to pay for something at the wedding. I expect you to bring a gift, or I'll you know, for my send suit a gift or some shit to wear for the wedding. But <laughs> nah, that's nah, about you it. don't you don't give gifts at weddings, John? No, I said my suit. 
like if I'm gonna wear if I'm part of their party, I give gifts for wedding. What the hell? Okay, okay. no, <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Like you, you gotta give a gift at a wedding if you well, go yeah. to a wedding. Yeah, okay, or something. Okay. I'll make it sure we're on the same page here. Yeah. yeah. I so you guys aren't gonna pay for my wedding when I get married. No, no, no. Oh, we're but I will get you a gift. Oh, we're gonna be invited. I don't know. I have. I have oh we, shit! Damn. We have to get engaged before I even make the wedding list. I could see you guys uh, I will being say, on the list. At, well, at this point, I would be a little bit upset if I didn't get an invitation. When we, when when I got married, we we, we were maybe yet. we were doing the podcast for like three months. Two we months, didn't really yeah. know each other, yeah, and I was months. heartbroken that I didn't get the I was invite. I know. At least I got know. a link or some shit, but yeah. Yeah. it is what it is. Whatever. But at this in. point, by the time you're engaged and get married, we should have a be, bank account together, motherfucker. Yeah. You better invite I'll be us. I'm pretty fucking upset if we're not. At least the re- like, at least like a dinner afterwards or something. My God! But I do get it. You know, weddings weddings are expensive. You know what I mean? If, if hey, we don't make know. if we don't make the cut, ba- we don't make the cut. But, but just I hope know, you feel bad if we don't make the cut. I'm just just know you're hurting us deeply. It'll yeah, be- we're not gonna <laughs> react to any of your shit anymore on your no. show. On your no, episode. I'll keep it professional. I'll just know that you hurt me. We'll oh, do I'm an petty. episode after, and you guys will be like, "Am I the asshole yeah. for not inviting <laughs> my, my business friends. partners? <laughs> I'm gonna fucking submit my own shit." <laughs> This one says John and Sean. Uh, oh, this yeah. one's from Sean Hemsworth. <laughs> a surprise, surprise. Posted on our subreddit. Um, Self submission. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. I'll try and stay in your good books. You better. When I Sean get runs our books, so you better be. <laughs> true. He won't pay me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, My dreams right. are coming true. <laughs> <laughs> Power over to white man, baby. <laughs> oh, no. All right. So let's hop into the story. I have a close friend from college who's getting married next year. She's been asking for my help to contribute to her wedding. I think it's sweet that she's thinking of me, but I don't think it's a good idea for me to help out financially. My friend and I have been close for a few years now, and I'm happy for her. She is struggling financially, and they have asked that instead of wedding gifts, people can donate to parts of their wedding ceremony. In brackets, there's a registry and everything, like table flowers and stuff. I know she's trying to save as much money as possible for certain reasons unrelated to the wedding, but I just don't think it's right for me to be helping her out with the cost of this time. So what do you guys think about that instead of gifts? I think that's fair. That is a gift in my opinion. I yeah, think that's, that's fair. a gift. Yeah. It, it's a registry. You know, you sign up and you pay for a thing. Just instead of you paying for something on their honeymoon, you're paying for something at the wedding. It's right. not like she's asking you to like specifically pay for this or, you know, right. like yeah. demanding anything. It's just instead of gifts for later, gifts for now, towards like, for the ceremony, the right? Yeah. yeah, towards the ceremony, so which that, I think is I, that's fine to me. Okay, yeah, less traditional gifts is what I meant to say, but yeah, yeah I, I agree with you. So I'm a recent doctorate candidate, and I'm currently writing my memoir, and I don't oh, so know if I don't know if or when I'll have time to get a job. Yeah, he <laughs> <laughs> broke as fuck. Anything I give is just that much less time I can live on my own, even if I could afford it. I don't think it's fair that I should have to help out when I know her fiance already has a job and could definitely get another. And some of his friends seem well off. Do they list ages on here? Uh, They do not. Well, if they're going for a doctorate, they're probably being at least mid twenties. Twenties. Yeah. Yeah. I think think by the time you're mid twenties, you buy a gift to go to the wedding. I think, I I think you can't show up to a wedding empty handed. And it sounds like even if this wasn't going towards the wedding, and even if this was just a gift registry, she sounds like she's, or they sound like they're also not going to give, you know, anything, anything yeah. which I think is automatically bad etiquette. So I tried to explain my financial situation to my friend, but she's still asking for help, even a little. She suggested that I could contribute as much smaller amount than the others. I still don't think it's a good idea. I told her that if I was in a better financial situation, I would be more than happy to help out. But right now it just isn't possible. My friend got really mad at me and said that I was selfish and that she expected more from me. Our group of friends all pledged to help pay for each other's wedding back in college. And she said that since she helped me pay for my wedding, which was around $550, I should (gasps) have to help her out, even if it's just $20. She's also threatening to tell our group of friends just because all of them have contributed to my wedding. But she completely ignores the fact that my marriage didn't even last one year. I I don't want to lose her friendship and I really don't want her to tell our friends my financial situation is private. More importantly, I also don't want to be taken advantage of. So am I the asshole for not wanting to help pay for her wedding? Yeah, I'm going to change my answer because I was like, no, they, she's an adult. She pays for her own wedding. Right. But the fact that like in addition to not wanting to pay for the wedding, which is fine if you don't want to do that, but you sound like you don't want to contribute like a gift. Anything. And I feel like I feel like right. I feel like a gift cash or something off the registry is 
expected as an adult. I, yeah. I mean, how are you doing anything right now? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> give something. That's like two less meals at in and out since you fuckers love in and out all of a sudden. Uh, and, you know what I mean? That's, look at me. Yeah, that's that's we're, we're done with it. We're done with it, John. We're done with it. <laughs> we're Don't say another fucking word. Baby, let's go. It's over. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I think you suck. I think you absolutely suck. Uh, yeah. You know, I get not being in a good financial spot. Hell, I'm not in a good financial spot. Hey, we're spot. all there. But I got $16 on my bank account. Let's go. <laughs> you know what I mean? But if that's the case, I'm declining the wedding. I'm not going to the wedding. Yeah. You know, you can't expect to go to the wedding and not bring a gift. And in this case, not help out with the wedding. You're delusional, I think, a little bit. Or maybe just naive to the fact of how these things work. You know, maybe you're in your young 20s. You don't really know how weddings work. But you were also married, so maybe you should fucking know how it works. I don't know. Yeah. I, I feel like you suck. I was going to go with uh, one of Sean's quotes when it comes to, like, weddings. Uh, originally, I was going to go to the point where if you can't afford the vision, then you got to change the vision. That yes. was, like, my, my mm. initial thought about this. Same. But now hearing it more i understand financial situation going to get your doctorates that is expensive as, as it is it is time consuming chances are you probably can't have a, a full-time job because of how stressful that situation is with that said the thing that bothers me the most is that you promised to help yeah. out and to me i'm a type of person that your word is your bond so if you promise me one thing and the friend was so graceful and gr gracious enough to say like, hey, I don't even need you to match what I gave you for your wedding. Just give me something just to like fulfill your promise to me. Yeah. And the fact that you still refuse and not even make a conscious effort to like be a friend for their most special day of their life. Full asshole for me. I agree. Oh. I wonder if this person has like some like uh, a little bit of bitterness to just the fact weddings. that like to weddings and the like love because like, the ceremony shit didn't work out. <laughs> well, I don't know. Just love in general. Just like we're young, you know, weddings don't really mean anything. Like, what's the point? Type. Of, I wonder if that's like their kind of vibe now. Maybe. 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 Given their past experience. But at the end of the day, if you're old enough to go to medical school, you're old enough to bring something, fucking yes. something to a wedding. Like you said, twenty dollars. Don't don't have Starbucks for a week. Pretty yeah, much. pretty much. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just so you can find twenty dollars guaranteed. I know you can. Sell I a have, feet pick for like one one day. <laughs> You'll get your twenty bucks. <laughs> yeah, I can tell you the bunion market is not hot right now. It's not Damn. going well for me. We're in recession, yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it's like people have to choose between bunions and eggs. I, people are choosing the eggs. That's a Down tough choice. <laughs> I didn't <That's> don't doubt them. <laughs> Um, so in the comments, turtles could fly commented, you're the asshole. You can't make a deal to give money to each other's weddings. Take the money for yourself and give nothing to the friend when she gets married. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then shadow cat MD comments below, but it doesn't count. Opie's wedding didn't last. <laughs> oh. <laughs> shadow cat. Yeah, shadow cat. Sassy. Sassy it. with it. So there are a ton of edits underneath that <laughs> oh, I think we're no. going to get into just cause they try how... to cover their ass. No. Oh, no, it gets worse. Um, oh, so he's gonna he's gonna double down, huh? You keep saying he. I don't know what their gender he, is. Oh, uh, they're gonna keep doubling down. Yeah, now. it doesn't say, but uh, it could be a guy. Um, so the first edit. After seeing all the reactions and misunderstandings here, I talked with a couple other friends in our group and showed them this post. They then sent me money, a hundred dollars, to give to our friend for her wedding. I'm gonna offer her five dollars at first and see if that's enough. Oh. <laughs> Hey, yo, yo, <laughs> boy, if you don't give me my $95 back, I would have, ooh. Okay. Right, I'm, I'm squaring up. <laughs> give me my goddamn money. <laughs> That's bad. That's so yo. bad. Oh. Like, I get what you're trying to do, but you're already in such a bad fucking spot already. Yeah. Like, you're, you already look like such a, a dickhead that... The other friends in the friend group are like, dude, just please. Just Mr. End Krabs, end is it. that you? <laughs> is this me? Uh, is this Sean? <laughs> is this me? Oh, there's a meme coming out with you tomorrow, Sean, oh, by the way. I'm excited. Oh, um, fantastic. So adding on to that edit, a couple other points. Point one, my friend's fiance agreed to purchase my ticket to fly. So giving up that money and not going is not an option. <sighs> They already paid for your ass to fly. Yep. You can't find 20 
dollars. You can't find twenty dollars. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And this they is give so you hundred dollars, and you go keep ninety five of that. <laughs> this is crazy. I fucking hate this person. <laughs> this is crazy. So the next two points are kind of they kind of contradict each other as well. Okay. So my friend, the friend with the wedding, did also give me a wedding gift, but I returned it. So they gave them the five hundred and fifty for their wedding as well as On a wedding top gift. Of gift. Yes. Oh my god! Point three. But you returned it, returned it back to the store, or returned probably it probably for a credit yeah. or cash. I don't you know. Probably. suck. You yeah. suck so bad. <laughs> Point number three: I do not have the money for a wedding gift, but I believe being there for her on her big day is a present itself. Everyone laughs when I say my present is present enough, so I don't think it's a negative as others see it. <laughs> okay, Kanye. <laughs> What presents is a presents? Kiss my ass? You can kiss my ass, fucker. <laughs> this a- is obscene. This <laughs> is oh insane my behavior. Oh, okay. So the levels of self confidence in you is actually <laughs> truly remarkable. Is uh, this Kanye well, now? <laughs> you are this fucking is something. Dumb. The fourth and final point of this edit. This is only the first edit. There's a couple more. Um, There's more. I have not been accepted into school yet. I'm starting to apply for PhD programs. I'm writing a memoir as a tribute and a gift back for my experience and doing it now to prepare to become a doctor. So they're so not he even, ain't even going to school yet. They're not even in this school memoir yet. is your hobby. <laughs> You're not even required to write this mem. You're writing a book on yourself before you've done anything. Correct. You could definitely get a job. You go write a memoir about your ass not having friends. That's what's going to yeah. happen. This uh, is crazy. Edit two. To clarify, I understand the $100 is to be used for all of my friends' weddings in our group, not just the one now. I'm not just pocketing the money. I'm saving it for when the others get married. And that means I have to try and ration it out for lack of a better word. (laughs) So, you don't foresee yourself coming into any (laughs) money in like the next decades. Yeah. You're going to live off this hundred (laughs) dollars for a decade. (sighs) I'm going to ration this for (laughs) tiny Tim and I don't know whoever your friend is. I mean, and it's not like it's totally impossible to have this many friends, but are you saying you have 20 friends that made this wedding pact? No, there are only three. No, the note uh, below that, there are only three people left in our group who are unmarried. My friend, Uh, one other person, and myself. So she's one of the only other ones not married. So you're keeping some of the gift for... I'm thinking you're keeping... (laughs) Ninety dollars. You're gonna give five dollars to this, and then five more dollars to the second person, and then, and then the you're 90. the third one. You're, still coming you're up. the third one. Sean, is this you? <laughs> this With is your Venmo. Insane. Even Sean's lazy. not this cheap. <laughs> yeah, Sean at least pays for shit. <laughs> I, I paid for our lawyers and shit. That's what you I said. did. Yeah. Uh, uh, holy fuck. Oh. oh my god. I've never heard. This is some extreme cheapskate situation yeah i'm gonna skip yeah. edit three because it's just about their memoir edit not important four. absolutely no, not. not important don't buy it on amazon because they're not <laughs> <laughs> edit four i offered the five dollars and didn't hear back for a couple days so i oh, offered no. i offered 20 as a gesture of goodwill without waiting to <laughs> without waiting to hear about the five dollars she said no and had the audacity to tell me i didn't need to come to her wedding at all I then offered 25, then 50, still nothing. She just seemed to get more upset when I increased the amount. I don't yes, know what because she- you already said you can't do it. <laughs> and then as soon as she's like, actually, fuck you, don't come. You're like, well, I do have money, actually. Yeah, I don't know what she expects. Literally more than double what she asked for, and it isn't enough. It's the this principle. Is the it's, it's been about the, the principle this entire time. It's been yeah. about the principle. She was like, at least $20, like show like, you know, that you want to be there. You know what I mean? She said, I'll, I'll just send five. <laughs> I'll, I'll do five. And then, and then she's like, doesn't answer you. And then you're like 20. 25. And then she's like, oh, so you Final have offer. the money. <laughs> yeah. What is this shit? Like, uh, uh, what's that one game show with the briefcase? Deal or no uh, deal. Deal, deal or no, no deal. deal. <laughs> Oh, the, the edits were too insane not to oh, not to skip over. Unhinged. Oh, this person is unhinged. Yeah, I think you were the asshole to begin with. You are just a narcissist. Not that we're <laughs> diagnosing you. I should clarify that. But you are yes. holy. You're just full of yourself. So full of yourself. <laughs> yeah, like God. main character syndrome. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 
Oh. All right. So Dude. on to the fourth story before we lose our minds. Uh, I low-key want to read the memoir. I... <laughs> Not going to lie to you. I low key want to see it. Like you haven't even got accepted to medical school yet. You're (laughs) broke as a joke. And yet you regard yourself in such an unhinged level of perfection. It's yeah. I I I want want that confidence. uh, Yeah. I want to know what's inside of there. I I don't know if I want that confidence. I want want a sliver, sliver of some confidence that you have. I want the confidence, but I also want to be able to read a fucking room every once in a while. Self-esteem of a potato. I want 5% of that confidence. No, wait, 20%. No, 25, 25, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. (laughs) Final offer. Oh, Jeez. All right. So our final story is cross posted on our subreddit by cupcake0623. Am I the asshole for robbing my brother of his full inheritance? Damn, that sounds like a dickish move. Sounds pretty fucking evil. But then again, is your brother a fucking evil racist? (laughs) I love love how after three stories of you guys being like thrown up on your heads, you're like... No, the other person could be the evil. One. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, we're overthinking it now. Yeah, you suck. Okay, okay. What about you, John? Yeah, even if they were evil, if they were legally entitled to that, they'd have to get it. Okay. And I think Rebecca would agree, our she, our lawyer. I mean, not agree. technically our lawyer, but... <laughs> our, our on-camera lawyer. Yeah, yes. our on-camera lawyer. All right, well, let's hop into it and see if you guys are right. My brother Ben, 35, is spoiled. Mom favored him over us girls. He always got what he wanted or he threw tantrums, even at my sister's funeral. She was 16, Ben was 14, and I was 11. Damn. My dad has two brothers and one sister. When my uncle was 22, he came out as gay. My grandparents were shocked, but they loved and accepted him for who he was. My uncle did a lot with us. To us, he was the fun uncle. My aunt and other uncle married their partners, but they were always critical of my other uncle because of his life choices. My grandparents held the family together, but in 2016, they both died within nine months of each other. My aunt and uncle disowned my gay uncle. He was upset, but he and my dad have always been close, so we became his only family. That's shitty, just underlying. Yeah. 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 Fucking Well, not the grandparents, but the brother and sister. Yeah. Yeah. Shitty. In 2019, my uncle was diagnosed with lung cancer. He rewrote his will and asked my brother to be the executor because dad wasn't coping well with him being sick. Ben accepted as he believed that my uncle would split everything between him and myself. My uncle died in May 2021. My dad, my uncle's boyfriend, and I were with him. I called and messaged my brother repeatedly, but he didn't answer or come or say goodbye. At the funeral, dad was a mess, but my brother was giddy. For weeks, my brother pestered my dad to find the will, and we finally looked in my uncle's safe. Dad unlocked it, and Ben grabbed the paperwork. After reading it, he soon swiped everything off my uncle's desk, swore, yelled, and stormed out. Later, I found out the will my uncle had written had split his estate four ways, a quarter each to my brother, myself, my uncle's boyfriend, and cancer research. Ben was angry because he only got one quarter. He contested the will. He claimed that he only accepted the job of executor because he was promised half. He believed he should get half and the other half should be split three ways. It went to court in October 2022. I testified and when asked if my brother should get half of the estate because of all the, quote, work he had to do, I said no. I said my dad and I had done more work than my brother, helping my uncle simplify his affairs prior to his death, and that my uncle was a deliberate man and we should respect his wishes. Ben was livid, but he thought he would win. He didn't. Early December, I was notified that Ben got a quarter minus the cost and the rest of us got a quarter each. He went nuts, demanding I compensate him because I cost him, quote, his money. My mother blew up on my phone with, how could I do this to her baby? And relatives were telling me I did the wrong thing. Mom banned me from Christmas. My parents are divorced when I was 16 because of my, quote, poor behavior. And everyone I... This isn't even her brother that passed. Like uh, her mom. No. So she's like... So she she definitely has zero say in this at all. Right. Absolutely. Um, Also weird that they divorced because of your poor behavior. That's what the last thing I read there. Uh, Yeah, Ben... You're one that has poor behavior, <laughs> asshole. But also a weird thing for parents to divorce over. I doubt that's why, but <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's weird that you think that. Anyway, uh, my mom banned me from Christmas and then told everyone I refused to come after what I did. Ben had a New Year's Eve party and my sister-in-law had messaged me saying, quote, sorry, with a picture of my photo on Ben's dartboard and a sign telling his guests to throw darts at me 
and to message my number and tell me I'm an asshole. Reddit, Ugh. am I the asshole? No. Oh, <laughs> that's the truth. <laughs> that last part is passive you know, aggressive and inciting violence on somebody. Yeah. yeah. And just inciting harassment. What the fuck, man? Yeah. Shout out to the, well, I don't know if it was well intentioned or not. Uh, I got that it was like, sorry, like you should know that this is happening. Like from I, the sister-in-law sister was, yeah. was good. I mean, maybe it was like, I'm sorry, like in a threatening way, but I don't think so. It's but hard shout to out tell. to the, the sister-in-law, hopefully. Maybe she sounds like she's realizing that Ben is taking it way too far. Yeah. yeah. Weird story. I, I think, you know, you're totally in the right, unless it's in writing that Ben was going to get half then you got to assume that the will is correct. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got to honor whatever the document says. And if the court ordered that he doesn't get half, he does not get half. You're lucky you got anything. Right. He seems like <laughs> he didn't even deserve any part of that. He was giddy at the funeral. That's what I hate. I hate people who get excited when other people die and assume it's fortune for them. Like that's a right. shitty way to look at like anyone's the, death. All of Knives Out 1. I have a personal uh, problem with, with that last thing. It happened recently for me. Oh, that's shitty. Yeah, it happened. Yeah, that's why I'd want to throw hands. Yeah, it's it's shitty. It's it it's a terrible way to approach someone else's death because other people are grieving. Like your dad is grieving. Fucking yeah. smarten up and console your dad. You can deal with the will when everyone is you know comfortable and in a good headspace, and then you go from there. You get what you get. If you don't get anything, that's okay. You. I freaking hate the mom too. The mom can kiss my ass as well. <laughs> The mom has zero like say in any of this. Like say in anything. Said. Just <laughs> trying to protect their little precious baby boy who can't oh. who can't properly express emotions but being a brat. Yeah. Dude, throwing a fit after reading the will is fucking childish. Yeah. yeah. Beyond like childish. how can anyone be on that guy's side after that? I, I mean, I guess the mom didn't see and she won't believe anybody else's word. But I mean, crazy behavior. Horrible. Get ben, Horrible. Ben. Get therapy. Yes. I have that. Oh no. Which one is it? Uh oh. Nope. Oh, it there. always happens. That's always, always the first button right you press. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We made it in time though. We did make it in time. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That is it for this episode, Wikimaniacs. What did you think? Were these people assholes? Let us know in the comments down below on our discord or in the live chat right now. If you're watching, regular Wikimaniacs going to be pissed how short this episode is. They are. I apologize. Uh, hey, to be fair, we started off the year with some truly fucking insane long, long, long episodes. Ones. Yes. So yeah. this is a little bit overdue, guys. You can't get everything <laughs> all the time. <laughs> patrons, though. I was going to yeah. say. Y'all still got the it. The patrons got it. If you want extra it. content, we've got tons on longer. our Patreon. It's the first week of February. So on Wednesday, all right, I already posted it then, maybe. No. Next no, week? this comes out. Oh, yeah. First February. Friday. First Friday of February. Potentially. Yeah, February 3rd. Yeah. I, what I do with all the extra bonus stories, I do a combined episode every month, put it together, and release it as a solo episode on Patreon. So there could be already a full episode of January bonus Am I the Asshole stories if you want a longer form content. So if you want that, sign up at patreon.com slash cultivate podcast network and uh, links in the show notes. Uh, if you want to hear more, please consider subscribing to the show and giving us a rating and review on whatever platform you are on, or you can share the podcast with a friend. Don't forget, you can cross post your own Am I the Asshole stories on our subreddit, and you can also submit your own stories there as well. We have a Google form if you want to stay more anonymous, uh, which all of those links are in the show notes. Please send it more there, please. I can't follow up with all the Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't send Instagram it to the Google us. Form. Yeah. Or Instagram's or. a horrible way to talk to us, guys. Yeah. No, wait, no. Well, I talk, talk to y'all on fine. Instagram. Talking talk is, is fine. Oh, but like stories. But like, don't I mean. send stories on Instagram, yeah, please. That's it's what hard to track. Yeah. Formatting, formatting is a nightmare. Talk to us on Instagram, guys, but yes. send Don't stories. Listen to Sean. I'm the one that's talked to you guys on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, also, true. not enough poop pics in the Instagram, guys. <laughs> nope, a little nope. disappointed. <laughs> if if you send poop pictures, Sean is going to be in charge of Instagram moving forward. <laughs> Just saying. I think, honestly, the best way is our subreddit. Like, it's awesome to be able to go in and read comments from our Wikimaniacs and see their response, because that's always yeah. fun uh, to read yeah. those on the story. So I'll tell you straight up. I'm never doing anything uh, anywhere else than the subreddit. It's I love just to hear it. Too convenient, okay. and uh, <laughs> if you want, if you specifically want me to read something, you know what uh, to do. Yeah, know to post it there because I'm not reading the Google. I'm definitely not in the gram enough unless there's poop pics. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think the Reddit—it's just super simple both ways. I think. Like, uh, shout out to our 
amazing mods over at our subreddit. Yeah. And they've even shown you how to cross post. And it's amazing. so simple. Very simple. Yeah. Uh, I think that was Midscore. So shout out Midscore for showing you how to cross post. It's pinned on the one of the very first uh, posts on our subreddit. So if you don't know how to cross post, I've never used Reddit before. That's a great introduction into how to do it. So shout out Midscore for that. We love you. Yeah. Thank you, John and Sean, for coming on today. Thank you, Wikimaniacs, for another amazing episode. And we will see you guys on Monday. Bye. Oh. Bye. <laughs>